this quick video, we are going to dye silk with picric acid. Picric acid, otherwise known as trinitrophenol, was an important dye and explosive in former times. However, due to toxicity and its tendency to form shock-sensitive metal picrates, its uses have been declined. Let's take a quick look at the molecule itself. As you can see, three hydrogen atoms on the benzene ring are substituted with nitro groups. The hydroxyl group gives the picric acid its acidic character, because the deprotonated picrate ion is mesomerically stabilized from the pi electrons of the benzene ring. So here is a solution of picric acid in water. Just as a quick legal note, as this solution of picric acid contains more than 30% water, it is legally not considered to be an explosive. This may or may not be different in your country. Please inform yourself about that if you plan to replicate these experiments. Okay, so let's first check the pH of the solution. It is strongly acidic. By the way, the name of picric acid comes from the Greek word picros, which means utterly bitter. If you are very very careful, you can set a very small drop of a very dilute picric acid solution onto your tonge and immediately flushing it out with water. You'll probably feel the most bitter taste in your life. Be warned that the bitterness can last for hours and that picric acid is very toxic. Okay, so here is a piece of genuine silk. Let's dip it into the picric acid solution. As you can see, its color will turn to a bright yellow. The color is permanent and you can wash the silk as often as you want afterwards. We could also dye leather in a similar way. Be warned that picric acid will also badly stain your skin. However, cotton cannot be stained very well, as the color will readily wash out. After drying, the silk looks like this. Pretty nice. That's it for this video. Let us know if you like to see more of picric acid or dyeing in general. We're also already planning our New Year special video. Please let us know if you've got wishes or ideas for it.